Don't think you're being weak. Don't think, don't listen to people that tell you to toughen up. Just talk to people. My name is Charlie Studs. I'm originally from the UK, in England for 15 years as a jump, professional jump jockey, and then moved here about 10 years ago. But now I'm uh, retired. I've always been interested in cycling from watching the Tour de France as a kid. But general fitness as a jockey it was always very good to ride a road bike. But cycling and, and racing sort of is what I grew up with. Both have been a passion throughout my whole life. And in the UK, I rode the Lands End to John O'Groats. The Long White Ride is the New Zealand equivalent from Cape Reinga in the tip of the North Island. And it's pretty much through the guts of the country, the North Island especially, down State Highway 1, Desert Road, down to Wellington, and then the East Coast to the South Island, all the way down to Bluff. It's a shade over 2,000 k's, with the world record being four days and a few hours, but I'm not aiming for that, <laughs> because that's pure endurance riding, riding through the night. I'm riding about eight to nine hours a day, and currently cycling has consumed that in every way, shape and form, leading up to the long white ride. I'm in full training, I have a coach, Blair Taylor from Spoken Cycles, has been a huge help in targeting this, what will hopefully be 10 days of pretty intense riding. It's been tough, but it's been very enjoyable. It'll give me a huge opportunity to, to really see parts of the country that most people won't even ever see it, but I'll get to experience it relatively slowly <laughs> uh, on a bike. But luckily I don't have to worry about my weight, so I'm eating plenty of carbs and um, lots of protein, which obviously in a jump jockey, you don't. <laughs> like a lot of sports, mental health is becoming a very talked about subject, rightly so. Very sadly, have lost a number of friends, not only here, but in the UK, that were jump jockeys and flat jockeys to suicide. Racing is a very unique sport in that you don't get a lot of outside help. It's, you're very much an individual and a lot of pressure on you to perform physically, mentally. And it's also very tough, not riding winners or riding winners and trying to live up to expectations. It can get on top of you and it's important to think there is people there, not that you're on your own. And there's always someone out there that is able to help. There's a big stigma about it and the fact that now we're slowly been able to talk amongst ourselves about getting help and for people that really struggle and don't feel they've got anyone to talk to having people like life matters is huge it, it really changes people's lives and hopefully saves some lives jockeys and other sportsmen and men and women from the you know normal walks of life can can ring and talk to in confidence about issues that they're having there's always someone at the end of the phone whether it's a friend or a stranger just to talk to um, Life Matters is there for that sole purpose, is to speak and to help. So earlier I lost my mother to cancer and I rode Lands into John O'Groats raising money for her treatment and her cause and the organisation back home. Everyone throughout their lives will have family, friends, and loved ones or know people that suffer from cancer. And Cancer Research Trust, NZ, put a lot of money into the researching of prevention but all the way through to preventative care and treatment at the end of end of life. It's a huge disease with many different facets and it's very important that we sort of have the research into treatment for it. Hopefully my ride goes a little way in getting people to talk about it, talk about me, talk about my experiences which weren't through suicide but I did have some slight mental health problems with concussions and injuries and severe migraines. But it's going to be very re rewarding. It's, it's a, a huge challenge um, personally, but to be able to look back in a few weeks' time to say that I've cycled to the length of the country, it's really pushing me on to, to really achieve that and, and to try and even better the 10 days if possible. So getting to Bluff and being able to look over, over the sea knowing that I've achieved something that very few people will ever get the chance to do or even complete. I have a Give a Little page set up. Uh, there's a link attached to all um, articles that are posted on my Facebook page, Charlie's Long White Ride. So please follow those to donate and you can choose which charity you'd like to donate to.